Hello and welcome. All right, lab four. I'm not, going to go, I'm not going to go through the entire lab, just the parts that are easy to do over video. So I'm going to start though with activity one. Activity one. The voltage at various positions along a specified, along a direction specified by an x-axis is shown below for four different situations. For each of these, indicate the relative magnitude of the electric fields at the positions A and B by arrows placed below the graph. Case A, as an example of what is expected, that is an example. All right. Okay, that looks straightforward. So let's, um, let's do some drawing first. So we're given voltages and electric fields. So whenever we think of voltages and electric fields, we think that V equals negative integral electric field dS or dR or what have you, a direction, and there's negative. So to get rid of the integral, what we're going to do is we're going to take the divergence of both sides. So in this case, so it'd be a little bit like this. Negative divergence of voltage equals electric field. Okay? And since this case, since we're just doing it in, uh, since voltage is a, um, it's a function of x, we will have electric field equals derivative with respect to x of voltage. Okay? Perfect. And specifically, it will be negative, because there's a negative in there. Okay. So, let's see what they did here. So here, since it's linear, they're both, and it's negative, so a negative and a negative will be positive, so they're pointing in the positive direction, and they're the same size. So okay, that seems reasonable. So now we're going to do the exact same thing that they did, just a little bit more classy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a line straight up through here. Now we can find the point that they're talking about. There we go. And then I'm going to get, draw another line. I'm going to call this my tangent line. Yeah, that's awfully puny for a tangent line. Hmm. That's okay. I'll make do. All right. Make it tangent. That looks about tangent. We'll call that about tangent. All right. I'm going to do another one. Move this guy up here. Oh, need to adjust him a bit. There we go. Move him right there. Move this guy. Hmm. Well, that did not go how I planned. All right. That looks close enough. All right. So this derivative is big and it's positive, so it's going to be in the negative direction. So it's going to be relatively big and negative since it's opposite direction. This guy, the ddx is uh, positive but small, so it's going to be small and a little bit negative. All right. Seemed like a reasonable concept, and the reason that we got that was th um, through using our formula for voltage equals negative integral EDS, and then backtracking to find out that the electric field, that should be a vector, is just the negative derivative with respect to x of voltage. All right? I'm going to try and not cheat, but use the system to my advantage by copying and pasting. Bam. Now, if these are both the same size, heck yeah. Take that, science. Hmm, are those off-centered? Something might be. Eh, not important. It's probably my drawing. All right, same idea. Start here, go there. Start, let's say, here. Go there. All right. Two more tangent lines. All right, this, this, um, Derivative here is positive, and it's slightly upward, so it's going to be negative slightly. All right, and then this guy, he's greatly positive, so he's going to be greatly negative. Okay? Got it. Same one over here. Ooh, borrow these lines again. 
Copy. Paste. Heck yeah. Hmm. I did not do a very good job of those lines. That's okay. Not important. All right. This guy. I'm not even going to draw a tangent line because it's obviously linear and negative. Is that the same as the first one? How is that in any way different than the first one? Oh, it's showing that it's negative. It doesn't matter that voltage is negative. All that matters is the change in voltage. So, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So, I'm just going to draw these. Same as the first one. Arrow here. Arrow there. Just to add emphasis here, I'm going to copy and paste the exact same arrow and put it over there. Here we go. And that is the first activity. Got it. Thank you. See you on the next one.